They'll be calling you a radical. Kevin Blanch as the Utah Taliban tears down the giant Buddhas. This is a Frank Lloyd Wright. I want this recorded in history. Who did this? This is a national heirloom. Frank Lloyd Wright, Oi Prairie Strikes School. They're tearing it down. It's beyond outrageous. Remember, these are the same people who cut down the oldest tree on earth. Look it up, the Brisker Cult. These are the same people who killed the biggest mule deer in the world for $26,000. And it used to come up and eat out of your hand, like Bambi out of Antelope Island. This is the Utah Taliban. The woman on head of the committee, yesterday I'm, ta I'm arguing, fighting with them. I told her. I, Frank Lloyd Wright, she's told me, this is an art teacher, a teacher who taught here in this community, said, I am not familiar with that. I am not familiar with that architect. Now I got it written in that they had to reach save all this and we see how they're saving it. They should have a crew up there taking it brick by brick on pallets. The principal there had to go ground up stoops to stack this on pallets. It's beyond outrageous. That's how they're preserving it. For real, for real. It's beyond outrageous. The Utah Taliban's out of control. The women will in Burke's neck. Look it up. The Army Church, the women that protested in a peaceful way got excommunicated. Where did you learn all this activism, Kevin? I learned it in there. Where did you learn all this activism? I learned it in there. Remember, the people that are doing this drain the greatest wetlands in the world right there. Mike Lee's buddies, a guy named Kerry Gibson, drained it. County Commissioner, T-Baggers. Federal wetlands, one of the greatest flyways on earth. As you don't think, this is what I found laying in there. After everybody was able to go through, all these people do is wrap themselves up in the flag. That's the flag that hung right there for decades. Wow. That's how they preserve it. Wow. I want to be recording in history who did this. This is a national heirloom. This is like going into the MoMA taking off the soup cans, Andy soup cans, and burning them. This is like going in and finding Grant Wood's American Gothic and burning it. Frank Lloyd Wright's only prairie shot, and it didn't need restored, and I had money procured for it. The Frank Lloyd Life Foundation, the Leslie Hodson Foundation, the Eccles Foundation would have paid for anything, and it didn't need to be done. Those are porcelain tiles imported from Italy. Kill Fired Brick, 1928, probably the richest community in America. And I get into what that is all about and who is that. This is, this is the Utah Taliban tearing down the big Buddhas. And like I said, remember, these people drained off the wetlands over there, one of the greatest flyways on earth. Illegally, they get away with it. Uh, politicians, Weber County Commissioner, Mike Lee's best buddy. These people cut down the oldest tree on earth. Look it up. These people killed the biggest mule deer in the world that used to come out and eat out of your hand. Auction it off for 30,000. The guy resold it for a couple million. The architect, Frank Lloyd Wright drawing, only prairie style. Christine, the other school built around about it. It has nothing to do with the new school. It told me, oh, earthquake. That's how they're preserving it right there. That's how they're preserving it. We're supposed to reconstruct something out of that. Wow, it's beyond outrageous. The good news, I have a whistleblower in New York City on Indian Point. I'll be in New York in two weeks. He's going to do an interview about the spent fuel pool leaking into the water system out of Indian Point for years, which he worked for them, the divers, the swimmers, who spent in number four at Fukushima, intricate details about the mob running the show over there. He's going to do that interview. Jeff Palco and I up in Calgary have joined together, our hedge fund. We're going to put this together. We're going to grow the Post Ignorance Project. He's dying like I'm dying, full of leukemia. Where did you learn all this activism? I learned it in there. I found this great banner and I put it up. This really great banner, Martin Luther King quote about courage. And if you don't think, I'm, look it up, who led the Million Mass Man March on the anniversary of Dr. King's march in Washington, D.C. in front of the White House. Who led it? Millions of people, millions of people participated. Oh, we didn't see it on the media? In November 5th, 23rd, I led it. 
I led it. John Anthony Furhurst organized it. I led it. With a police escort down Constitution, down Pennsylvania. As I live to tell. As the more Utah Taliban, for real, the repressors are completely out of control. This isn't ignorance. This is ignorance with a club. A big club. beyond outrageous. This is how they're preserving it. And I got it written into the contract. They had to preserve some of these porcelain tiles in this brick. This is how they're preserving it. By the way, he doesn't speak English. He's good with that thing. That's their preservation. Had to go round up custodian kids to stack it on pallets. And it's written into the contract. That's how they roll here. That's how they play here. Not today. Not today. See in New York with my whistleblower, we're going to blow Indian Point, people are going to go to jail. Mark my words. The time capsule was right there. In 1981, they put a tree trunk. Whoever did that should be hung. He, they stole the time capsule. The time capsule is missing. Someone stole it. By the way, I know where the fish is off Weber High. Sean, the Don't Stop It Shop, stole it. He stole it. He has it and I can prove it. He stole it. Oh yeah, another good fake Christian. Let's go freaking mass murder them in Middle East when they don't even know it. one country from the other. They couldn't tell you Saudi Arabia from Iraq to France. Where did you learn this activism? In there. Stan Tunis.